What if I told you that I copied a $10,000 intermittent fasting app without writing a single line of code? Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how I built a complete intermittent fasting app that rivals even BodyFast, one of the top apps in the App Store using nothing but AI prompts. And we're talking about a fully functional app with a database, AI integrations, email systems, authentication, analytics, and storage all built in minutes, not months. But here's what makes this absolutely insane. I used only one AI tool to build this entire app, no integration, hell, no manual setup of Superbase, OpenAI, APIs, or SendGrid, no hours spent on configurations like other so-called AI builders that just give you prototypes. No, this is the only AI app builder where you can actually build and deploy a complete production-ready app in minutes. So in this video, I'll show you the exact AI tool I used, I'll walk you through building complex features with simple prompts, and I'm going to prove to you that you too can go from idea to to deploy the app faster than you ever thought possible. I've been building apps for quite a while now on this channel and what you're about to see will completely change how you think about app development. So please do stick around because by the end of this video, you're gonna have everything that you need to build your own a profitable app without having to touch a single line of code. The AI tool that we're going to use today is Base44. Now I added the link in the description down below so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself but after watching this video. All right, so starting things off, a new app can sometimes feel, you know, overwhelming, especially when you're aiming for something that actually helps people stick to healthier habits. So instead of like overcomplicating things, we're gonna go straight to the core idea, an AI powered intermittent fasting coach that tailors plans to each user. And to make that happen, we're gonna feed Base44 a clear prompt to build the main foundation. Here's what we're gonna say. Hi, let's create an awesome intermittent fasting focused app. Let's build the main foundation first. We need to give the app an AI coach whereas it can create a personalized fasting plan for the user's needs. This means we also need to have a set of fasting plan options and trackers for the user's weight and body measurements. Important disclaimer, building apps and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. Because when I show you how to build an app, I'm demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most apps don't make money immediately and many apps, well, they don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you'll get rich or that you quit your job. This isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme either. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you. All right, so with our expectations set, let's continue to build the app. Now Base44 picks it up right away and gets to work because in just a few moments, as you can see, we've got a fully functional web app taking shape. There's a tab for the AI coach, a clean dashboard, and even a built-in weight tracker. Everything looks surprisingly well put together for a first draft. It's clean, it's focused, and it gives me a solid base to start layering in the rest of the features. Hydration and awareness, they go hand in hand with fasting, so it makes sense to bring both into the app next. Instead of just tracking food or time, we want our users to also log their water intake and see exactly what stage of the fast they're in, from early glycogen depletion to full-blown fat burning. To get that in place, we will give Base44 this prompt. Great, but let's add a water intake tracker to our app. Furthermore, let's add a visualization of the fasting stages that the user is in, depending on what phase they are during the fast. Now, Base44 comes through again with a solid update. As you can see here, the water tracker is now fully integrated. It looks clean, it works smoothly, and it fits right into the overall layout of the app without any friction. It's a smart upgrade that makes the whole experience feel a lot more guided and informative. Tracking water is a great start, but nutrition plays just as a big a role in any fasting journey. So instead of just stopping here, I'm thinking about expanding the app's capabilities by helping my users keep an eye on what they're actually eating. 
not just a food log though. We're talking about real macro tracking that shows calories and protein, carbs and fats, all of that tied directly to the user's daily dashboard. And to get that going, we're going to tell Base44 something like this. Great, now let's expand the water tracker by adding a food tracker that can track the user's macros based on the food they input. They should also have some information about the health benefits of the food they consume. Let's make sure the user can see their total calories, protein, carbs, and fat consumption of the day at the dashboard. All right, so once that's in, the update rolls out with a new food tracker built right into the app. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and try to add chicken breast as a test item. And you can see it instantly shows the estimated nutritional breakdown per serving. Of course, you know, these numbers are just ballpark figures, but it is enough to help users start making better food choices without having to overcomplicate things. It's clean, straightforward, and gives the kind of insight that makes tracking feel more rewarding rewarding instead of overwhelming. Fasting isn't just about hitting numbers or tracking meals. There's a mental side to it too, right? Because especially for beginners, the journey can be filled with a lot of small wins, a lot of tough days, and everything in between. So to make sure everything feels more personal and supportive in the app, we're going to add a journal where users can reflect on their own experiences and track how they're feeling along the way. So here's what we're gonna send to Base44. Great job so far, now let's add a journal so the user can log their notes and reflect on their fasting journey. And Base44 rolls out the new feature and it fits right in. The journal lets my users jot down notes, log their mood, energy levels, and even note challenges or breakthroughs. It's simple, but also surprisingly powerful with a space to turn numbers into actual meaning and help users stay connected to their progress, not just their data. Tracking and reflecting are great, but learning why fasting works takes the experience to a whole new level. It's one thing to follow a routine, okay, yeah, but it's another to actually understand what we're doing. So our next step is to make the app a go-to resource by adding a dedicated learning section filled with helpful insights. So we're gonna tell Base44 exactly what we're looking for. Awesome. Now, can you create a dedicated section for the user to learn more about fasting and its benefits? And from here, Base44 adds a full learning page to the app. Inside, as you can see, users can explore different types of fasting, get practical tips, avoid common mistakes, and even dive into the science behind why fasting works. It's a really solid way to help our users keep informed and motivated, especially for those who want more than just a tracker. They want to build real understanding. So now, seeing progress visually can make all the difference in the world, especially when you're in the middle of a tough fast. Numbers are helpful, but having something that you can see, well, that's like a chart showing how far you've come. That adds an extra layer of motivation. So to bring that into the app, we're gonna ask Base44 to include some kind of visual tracking, specifically clear and easy to read graphs or charts that reflect the user's current stage in the fasting cycle. Now the update comes through as you can see and the difference is immediately noticeable. Right here on the dashboard there's a visual timeline showing which stage of the fast the user is currently in. It shifts dynamically as time passes making the entire experience feel well more alive. Instead of just watching the clock my users can now get a clear visual sense of the progress which does make sticking to the fast feel a lot more rewarding at least in my opinion. Okay so so at this point, the app's got a lot of useful features, but what is missing is a way to look back and see how everything fits together over time. Because it is one thing to track progress day by day, but having a big picture view does help users stay consistent and notice patterns too. So the next step is to bring in a dynamic calendar that ties all of the tracking features together. So we're now going to ask Base44 to create a calendar that syncs with everything already in the app. And that's the fasting logs, the food and water intake, the weight tracking, even the journal entries. The idea here is to give users a simple scrollable view where they can tap on any date and see exactly what they logged in that day. The OCD in me is very happy. And as you can see, the update works seamlessly. The calendar is fully interactive. And when you click on a date, it pulls up the total macros, the meals, and any added notes. There's also a handy quick action menu. Cool. So my users can instantly add a journal entry, 
They can update their weight or log new data right from the calendar. It's a clean, intuitive way to keep everything organized. And it makes reviewing my progress, our progress feel a lot more natural in the app. As the core features start coming together, it's a good time to zoom out and look at the overall user experience. Because the functionality is there, but the design, at least to my eye, still feels a bit rough around the edges with some alignment issues and a layout that could use a little bit more polish. So I'm gonna ask Base44 to just refine the visual side of things and clean up the interface for a more polished, user-friendly experience. And as you can see, after the update, the changes, well, they aren't too drastic, but they do make a big difference. The spacing feels tighter, the alignment is fixed, and the entire theme just looks cleaner and more intentional. It's one of those updates you kind of feel immediately when navigating the app. Everything just flows better, and the design finally matches the quality of the features behind it. All right, so the next update is quick, but it is important. It's all about improving the flow of the app, because with all of the features that we've now built in, we do want to make sure the layout reflects what users are likely to access most. So we're going to ask Base44 to rearrange the tabs, to move the learn section towards the bottom, and place out the journal below the calendar. And Base44 handles it all without a hitch. The tabs are now reordered just the way we want. It's a small tweak, but it does go a long way in making the overall experience feel more intuitive. Okay, so nowadays, dark mode has pretty much become a must-have feature, not just for aesthetics, but for comfort, especially during late night use. So to give users more control over how the app looks and how it feels, we're gonna ask Base44 to add a theme toggle. Here's the exact prop we're gonna use. Great, now add a toggle button for dark mode and create a dark mode theme. And with that, the update comes through smoothly. There's a new toggle button here appearing in the lower left corner of the app. And once it's clicked, the entire interface transitions into a sleek dark mode theme. It is fully functional, it's easy on the eyes, and it adds that extra layer of personalization users expect from a polished app. After switching to dark mode, everything does look great, but once we toggle back to light mode, as you can see here, there's a small issue popping up. Whenever a section is selected, its tab doesn't stand out clearly enough due to poor contrast. For me, it makes it hard to tell which part of the app that I'm currently in, especially in light mode. So it's time to get that cleaned up and to get it fixed we simply send this prompt to base 44 great but please fix the contrast issues in the sidebar if the selected tab is active the contrast isn't good this only applies to the light mode and base 44 rolls out the fix right away the active tab is now clearly highlighted with a light violet color theme making it easy to spot without overwhelming the layout it is a subtle but important improvement that keeps the interface clean and readable in both light and dark themes. If we want people to actually upgrade, well, we gotta make the payment process as smooth and straightforward as possible. Because, you know, no one really wants to deal with clunky checkout flows or confusing links. So before we plug anything else into the app, we will start by setting up a Stripe payment link. This is what handles the full checkout on Stripe's end and makes the upgrade process effortless for the user. So check this out. We're gonna begin by heading over to the Stripe website and creating a new product. In this case, it's our intermittent fasting premium upgrade. And from here, we're gonna fill in the product details, we're gonna set the pricing, and most importantly, make sure it's set up as a recurring monthly subscription. After that, we generate a payment link specifically for this product. Once the link is created, we're gonna copy it for the next step where we're gonna integrate it into the app itself. And with this link ready, we now have a fully functional checkout page that allows our users to access, to subscribe, and unlock all the premium features. Up to this point, we've built out some really solid features, but none of it matters if users can actually upgrade, right? So whether someone's ready to go premium for deeper insights, or maybe they just want to support the app, we need to make sure that the next step is simple
simple and clear. And that means giving them a dedicated place inside the app to see the benefits and also to help make the payment without jumping through so many hoops. So to do all of that, we're going to tell Base44 exactly what we want, which is to create a page for unlocking the premium version of the app and to create a button that links to a Stripe payment channel, followed by pasting in the payment link that we generated earlier. And the app now has full Stripe integration, complete with a dedicated upgrade to premium page. It's all set up now to use Stripe's payment link system, so the flow is simple. The user just visits the upgrade page, clicks the button, and completes the transaction directly through Stripe. And that's all it takes to unlock premium access. With everything working smoothly inside the app, it's time to make it feel more official. And one of the easiest ways to do that is by adding a custom domain. So to get started, head on over to the top left corner of the dashboard here and click on Workspace. From there, select Domain. You'll see the option to connect a custom domain, but before you can link one, you'll need to purchase it from a domain provider like GoDaddy, Bluehost, or any other hosting service that you prefer. And once that's ready, you'll be able to plug it into the app and give it a proper branded web address. Once the custom domain is ready, the final step is to publish the app and make it live. So head on over to the upper right corner of your dashboard here here and click publish. A drop down menu will appear. Just select publish app. Now this opens a new tab where you can view your live fully functional app. If the custom domain is already connected to, you'll see it right there in the browser's URL, giving your project a polished professional finish. All right, so let's take a look right here because right after logging in, the app loads with the dark mode theme we set up earlier, giving it a sleek and modern feel. On the left sidebar, all the core tabs are neatly laid out from the dashboard, an AI coach to the calendar journal, a full set of tracking tools. Now we're going to check out the AI coach. Here on the dashboard, we're gonna hit the start with AI coach button to begin creating a personalized plan. Now, since this is a fresh profile, the dashboard doesn't have any data, not yet, unlike our dev build. So we're starting everything from scratch. We're gonna ask to enter a few personal details, age 24, height 72 inches, weight 195, goal 180. We set our goal to weight loss, choose a moderate activity level, add our work schedule and mark our fasting experience as beginner. So the AI coach can tailor its suggestions more accurately to me. And once that's done, we're now going to save the information and go back to the dashboard to generate our plan. After just a few seconds, the AI coach gives us three options tailored to the information that we just entered the 16 slash 8 slimming shift, the 5x2 fast, and the early riser fast. Now, each plan comes with a brief description and is designed to match our goal of weight loss and our beginner level experience. I'm going to select the slimming shift plan as my starting point. Now, before moving on to explore the rest of the app, I want to ask the coach a quick follow up question just to see how it handles practical advice. So I'm going to type in, hi, coach, what food do you recommend I take when breaking my fast? A few moments later, the coach responds with a pretty thoughtful list of suggestions catered to my case. It is a small interaction, but this really shows that the AI is already equipped to provide useful real-time guidance. All right, so we've taken this app from a simple idea to a fully working platform, complete with personalized coaching, progress tracking, journaling, learning resources, and even a smooth Stripe integration for premium upgrades. And every step was powered by AI and not a single line of code was written manually. And if you've been putting off your own app because it felt too technical, or maybe you felt overwhelmed, this should prove it's more doable than ever. Now, if you found this helpful, please do give it a like and let me know in the comments below what you want to build next together. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Hit that bell too, so you never miss a full step-by-step -step build like this. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for spending your time with me today.